No, 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 Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today, Mr. Gladiator Bob is back, aka Random Bob. So today, we're going to be checking out some random creations. We actually tried to do a, a, a random episode the other day, but it turned into, I spawned a tidal wave and just crashed into everything for like 30 minutes, and it was spectacular, and if you missed that, you should totally check it out, but today... We're actually going to have our random episode. Now, Normal Bob is coming back in the Alien Zombies. Uh, that's going to be a thing here soon. So if you're going to ask about that, you might as well go ahead and not ask about that. So, we're going to be checking out some random creations here today. Be sure to check out all the creations linked down in the description. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs here on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. All right, so the city has decided to build a glorious Coliseum here in Bricksville, and I must say this thing is rather impressive. Uh, Mr. Rocket Shotgun strikes again, but Bob, he's just in here kind of by himself. He doesn't understand. Why would you place Bob in a Coliseum if you didn't want him to do anything here? I mean, what type of opponent would even show up to face Mr. Bob here in the arena? Uh, speak now or forever hold your... What was that? Uh, ah! So yeah, this is a new freaky thing that has appeared on the uh, workshop. This is a Minecraft bunny, except for it's like nightmare version of it. I thought this was kind of cool. It's made by uh, Homer. And can you, uh, oh, it's got tonsils and, wait, can we climb up in this? Can Bob, what is in here? Is there like a bunny butt thingy? Wait, what is this? Wait a minute, what does this bunny do exactly? Does it just go around and do bunny things? It's kind of frightening looking. Like, if this was actually in Minecraft, I don't think I'd play it. Uh, okay, no, Bunny, does he explode? I think he just moves around and he just looks, uh, <laughs> not cute at all. Oh, that is frightening. What if we stuck Rob in front of him, what would happen? So, uh, Bunny's gonna go ahead and escape the Coliseum here. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's not how it's supposed to work. All right, so Bunny's gonna just go ahead and set here. Uh, this is pretty cool though. I'm kind of curious though. I feel like I could grab something with those teeth. That is, uh, that's just not right, man. Oh, what if we, does it continue? Oh, if you hold it down, it keeps going. Oh, this thing could chomp on something. You know what? Let's go grab Rob real quick. Hey, we gotta tell Rob to touch the mutant bunny. What happens when we do this? Hold on, let's go ahead and start this up. Oh, that looks bad. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, okay, it's coming down. Come oh, on, let's let it chomp into Rob here. Uh, it's gonna run into him a little bit. Let's see if we can grab a chunk of Rob. Oh! Oh, it's gonna come down on his legs. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's ripping into Rob. Uh oh. Oh, poor Rob's gonna fall down here. Oh, this looks so terrible. <laughs> we need a shark like this. That would be really cool. Oh, let's open up that mouth. Oh, Rob does not look happy. Oh, Bunny's gonna get a mouthful this time. Uh, it's gonna crunch down. Oh! Oh, we're watching a, a Lego bunny eat a Lego person. This is weird. Didn't think we'd be doing this today in Brick Ricks. This is amazing! Rob's like, no! Oh, and let's, uh, uh, let's crunch down. Oh, it's okay, Rob. Uh, the attack will soon be over. How do you, uh... How do you stop vicious bunny attacks? Oh, he is just chomping into him. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going for the stomach. Oh, there goes the insides. Up, oh, up, oh, and chomp, chomp. Let's try to go full speed with this. Oh, oh, that looks worse full speed. Oh, he's eating Rob. No bunny, bad bunny. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's just pull back here. <laughs> I feel wrong for doing this. Uh, we should probably just end the episode here because I'm pretty sure that was uh, that was probably one of the more wrong things that we've done. Hold on. Back up, Bunny. You've had enough of him. Hold on. Let's put this over here. Oh. 
Yeah. That was gross. All right, Rob, you can go back in the garage. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna blow up this Coliseum. All right, so it is time to take out the Coliseum with the big mutant bunny in it because uh, yeah, I don't want to go in there and mess with that. So we have a creation here by Master of Confusion. Now I might use this for normal ball because this is actually a work of art. This is beautiful, and I'm pretty sure this explodes really good. This is a Saturn nuclear missile. And we are about to go through a full launch, launch it in the air, and hopefully hit the Coliseum. Alright, so we go, what's this button do? Oh! Oh, that was a nice little ramp. Okay, Bob's gonna walk up in here. Alright, so, uh, let's go and close. Does that close? Or, I guess we keep it open. In Soviet Russia, we replace water with eradicated poisonous potato vodka. Okay, I can take a nice drink of that. Mini cool reactor core. Oh, what is this place? What is this? Wait, is this the big button? Hold on, okay. Armed, currently inoperable, we'll add uh, this feature. Okay, so, wow, he's actually gonna have a full launch key system here. I think you have to be in, oh yeah, please be a kamikaze pilot in the meantime. Yeah, at some point he's gonna add this to where you can click this button, and I guess the whole thing launches, hold on, let's, uh, does it? It doesn't launch, does it? No? Hit it again? No, it doesn't launch yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this. Oh, no, that's... No, it's supposed to be in that. That's... Oh, oh, Bob screwed that up. That was an elevator. Okay, you know what? We're going to pretend like that actually worked. And... Oh, look, Bob popped out this side. Okay, so... Here is our mission here today. We have to take out the Coliseum of Doom. So let's go ahead and walk over here. Uh... Oh, there's a driver's seat. Hold on, let's see. Actuate. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, you know what? I think we could just get in the seat from here. All right. Are we supposed to move that bridge portion? I kind of feel like we're supposed to. All right. I hope I don't miss the Coliseum. So you're going to activate the rocket, I believe, with middle mouse. And then you're going to control it with WASD. And then you can deploy the, I guess, the warhead with the left mouse control once you're ready. And it says it's going to freeze when the warhead deploys. Now, this total creation is like 5,000 bricks, but the rocket is 3,000. So he's packing some stuff in here. Uh, here we go. Ready, three, two, one, launch. Uh-oh, it froze. What happened? Oh, yes! Oh, this is cool. This is cool, okay. Okay, we're gonna go up into space and do a big arch. I can see the mutant bunny in there. All right. Dude, this is like the coolest rocket I've seen. All right, let's go ahead and start arching. Okay, let's release this. Should I, on, let's, no, 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 you gotta turn around. Okay, uh, turn around, buddy. Uh-oh. Oh, I hope it don't hit the city. Okay, here we go. Uh, am I supposed to, do I just release it or does it detonate when I release it? I don't know what's happening. I can see the Coliseum from here. Oh, uh, let's try to aim that way. Oh, if we actually hit this, this is going to be amazing. Uh, there we go. Oh, we look like we're on target here, folks. Come on, let's speed it up. No, 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 Don't veer off target. Don't veer off target. No! Here we go. Uh-oh. I just released the warhead, it froze. Uh oh! Wait! Wait! What's up? Uh oh! Oh no! Oops! And the Coliseum was untouched. Okay, I think I was supposed to deploy that warhead ahead of time. Yep, mutant bunny's still in there. Let's do that again, that was cool. Alright, we're back up in the air. Oh, buddy. Gonna be cool. All right, let's go ahead and turn it. All right, I'm not gonna deploy the warhead yet. I want to make sure that we're on target with the Coliseum. Okay, let it kind of turn around here, weight wise. Man, this might actually maybe I could spawn this in space if I put it on the garage or something. This could be cool. Okay, come on, point, point down. Uh, actually, I could probably aim this better going fast. There we go. Come on. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. No, we're going to miss it. All right, let's deploy the warhead. Let's see what happens here when this uh, goes off. Oh, wait. What the heck's all that? What? I don't... I don't understand. 
Oh, it's breaking apart. Oh, jeez. Oh, it is loaded. Huh. That is weird. If we deploy that up high, I guess it just rains like death down on everything. All right, here we go. Let's go like this. Let's go deploy the warhead right on top of the rabbit. All right, here we go. Slow it down. Oh, that's pretty close. Okay, something got to affect the Coliseum and the... Oh, there we go! That was a good... That was a good hit, but Mutant Rabbit's still there. Oh, and it might have a secondary explosion. This thing's too strong. This is the one thing in Bricksville that's too strong. Oh! Hold on. No, we might still... No. It's stupid, Rabbit. Rabbit's just sitting there mocking me now. It's just like, dude, you just launched like three nukes at me and... Yeah. Huh. What would explode this? Alright, I know what's gonna take this thing down. It's gonna be the rain of catastrophe. Something we've used before. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. Say goodbye to Mutant Bunny. Here we go. Uh, it's moving. Uh-oh, is it off to the side? No, no, yeah, there's definitely enough above us here. Slow it down. Ooh, ooh there we go. Oh, we hit the bunny. We hit the, we hit the bunny. Oh, we're moving the Coliseum. Wait. I think half the rain dissipated before it even got to the bunny. The bunny lost an ear. What in the heck? This is uh, almost impenetrable, it feels like. It is moving, though. All right, I'm going to have to admit failure with the Coliseum. It's an epic creation, but it is made out of really big scalable blocks. And I don't think we're going to be blowing this thing apart anytime soon. So I got another couple things for this bunny. All right, so Bob has something for the bunny. Now, I despawned the Coliseum. Where'd the bunny go? Here, bunny. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Well, I do have a, uh, an oversized bear trap, and I guess I know how this works. Do I just go, uh... Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh! Ooh! That looks painful! Okay, well, we gotta go track us a bunny. I guess this is gonna be a bunny hunting episode. I didn't know we were gonna do that today. Uh, but first, uh, we gotta make sure... You know, that didn't hurt me. It went over me. We gotta make sure this thing works. Uh, let's go grab Rob real quick. All right, Rob, we're just confirming that the bunny trap works, so we just need you to... Uh, I don't want you to stand directly on it. We're gonna let you fall on this. Here we go. Let's go about right, th about right there. Should be good, okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, what happens when a Rob touches the little uh, the trap there? Here we go, bear trap versus Rob. Rob, you big fat dummy, you broke the bear trap. Okay, due to Rob not being a team player, we had to build a stronger bear trap. All right, here we go, Rob. Let's uh, let's attempt that again. Come on, this is gonna be fine. Oop. What? Rob. Rob. Oh! <laughs> oh, it works. Okay. Oh, uh, oh no, he's gonna land back on it. Oh. Okay. No, oh, yeah, yeah, that worked perfect. Okay, we know that will work for the bunny now. All right, good job, Rob. You can go back to the garage. All right, well, the bear trap is placed, ready to go here in the city. Now, the question is, uh, where's the bunny at? Wait a minute, what's that noise? Oh, no! Oh! Oh, it just skimmed over the bear trap! What the heck, bunny? Oh, it's flying. That is a scary bunny. I don't like that bunny. You know what? Maybe the bear trap wasn't such a good idea. Bob's gonna go ahead and take off running right now. Uh, he's not comfortable with what's happening. Alright, so I think we found the source of the mutant bunnies. We have a new power plant. A new nuclear power plant. This is a Chernobyl plant. Yes, uh, somebody has finally made this in brick rigs. Hold on, let's, uh... Oh, do I need to wear a suit or something before I go into this? Uh, what is this? Like, what is this like on the inside? What the heck? Dude, this is some advanced stuff going on in here. Uh, here's the reactor, okay. Ooh. This could definitely be a place where Bob could touch buttons. Uh, do we have buttons? There's gotta be buttons in here somewheres. 
Looking for a staircase, looking for a staircase. Danger! Uh, Bob doesn't understand that. Bob knows no danger. Hold on, let's go upstairs real quick. Uh, ooh, what is this? Is this an office? Okay. Ooh, buttons. Oh, what do the buttons do? Oh, ooh, there's a switch. What's this do? Here we go, click it. Oh no, oh no! No, that didn't just put this Oh, that just exploded the reactor, didn't it? Oh, dang it. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna do that. You know, I probably should have guessed that. There's like a switch inside of a power plant like this. Uh, what about the cooling tower? Did that go down? Oh, that caught on fire a little bit. Well, that's definitely a plausible reason for bunnies to be here. Well, I feel like we need to completely eradicate this because that's always a very good thing to do is to blow up a nuclear power plant, so... Uh, Bob's got another creation we're gonna test out real quick. Alright, so we have another charge creation. This is like the Def Explodey Experimental thing by X Gamer. Uh, this is one of those charge creations and oh. Oh, are those all explosives? Hold on, how many explosives are in here? What's up with the timers and stuff? Uh, okay. Alright, we're gonna stand on this and we're gonna launch this into the nuclear power plant. Along with the mutant bunnies, too, because uh, those things creep me out. We really need to blow those up. So, uh, let's do this. Alright, here we go. Mutant bunnies are lined up next to the plant. Oh, jeez. I don't know what these are loaded down with, but it says experimental, so that's always a good sign, right? No, 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 don't turn it! No! No! Oh, let's slow this down. Oh, the mutant bunnies don't stand a chance. Uh, oh, wait. Oh no, what the heck is this? Wait, what? What is inside of those things? Oh my, oh my. What does he have loaded in those? That completely ruined the plant, look at this. Dude. What in the heck just happened? I'm actually shocked. I did not expect that. Uh, where are the bunnies at? <laughs> well, I guess you say the mutant bunnies are gone. Dude, that blew it basically in half. Hold on, let's go full speed. That's what's left of the plant, a part of the shell. Did the, uh, the main office, did it make it? Uh, oh, it did. I, I'm a bit confused as to uh, what's loaded in those explosives, but whatever it is, I really like it. Look how far some of the pieces went. What the heck? Okay, I don't see any pieces of bunny. Is there any white anywhere? <laughs> is that a piece? No. Um. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Well, I do believe the mutant bunnies are definitely extinct. I'm just still, uh, just I'm really curious as to what that is. That could be something you see more of in the future. I'm just, uh, he's got something loaded in here that I've never experienced before. Uh, because charges normally never explode like that. <laughs> that was awesome. Alright, let's, uh, move on to the next thing. Alright, so, I've been meaning to check out some more vehicles, which, by the way, we had a contest not too long ago on the Discord for rock crawlers, and the video may already be out, or it's about to come out, uh, for those. But yeah, I have something called the Rock Roller. This is made by Lizard. I think I'm saying that right. He's the person who made Rob. And this is like a crash test vehicle. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Komodo, everything already breaks apart in brick rigs. Why would you need something like this? And this is to try to create more realistic looking crash as opposed to everything breaking off. You see how everything's on uh, almost like, I guess you could say actuators? So when this thing like flips over, stuff tries to stay attached, like the hood and all that, and the car will buckle and bend, almost like a BMG style Lego car. So we've got that, we've got a couple other things over here. I've got a couple of stunt ramps by MMB. You've got one which has already collapsed. Uh, I figured out this is actually, uh, these are all loose blocks here, kind of like the waterfall that we checked out not too long ago. Uh, this is like a crash wall that you can run through, uh, all action movie style. And we do have another ramp over here. This is an explosive wall here, and well, I don't think I have to explain what this one does. So let's go ahead and grab our rock roller here. Let's go ahead and reset this. These are, uh, these don't like to stay up too long. 
Maybe I need to check to see if there's a, there might be a trick or something to getting these to stay up. But anyways, let's start back here. Let's go and give this a little bit of a run. And, oh, they oh, they went down again. Oh, poo. Okay, how do we get these to stay up? All right, let's reset it again. It says nothing about trying to keep this wall up. It naturally looks like it just wants to fall right now. And it's weird because we're on a completely flat surface. No, oh, stop falling. Anyways, you kind of get the drift of what's going to happen. He also has another rock wall over here, too. Which, maybe we can crash through that. I kind of wanted to crash through this one because it'd be epic doing it during the jump. Uh, let's turn around here. Let's uh, hit this one at a decent speed. Alright, here we go. And... Boom! Whoa! Dude, that was cool! That actually looked pretty realistic. Say this was like a, I wouldn't say a concrete wall would move like that, but this was like a guardrail or something. That was awesome looking. Hold on, let's uh, let's run some more stuff into this. I wonder if we can find something a little bit faster. Uh, let's uh, set this wall back a bit and we'll pick up some more speed here. All right, here we go, picking up some speed. Uh, can we break through it this time? Uh, come on, it's not the fastest thing, but there we go. All right, let's watch this. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Boom! Oh, it broke through that time. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, let's go full speed. <laughs> ah, it crunches right on through. That's awesome. Oh, you can see some of the damage. Oh, it's got a flat tire and stuff. You yeah, know, that held up pretty good, actually. Let's go ahead and respawn this. Now he's got a picture of this thing getting rolled down a canyon. I'm pretty sure that's what this is meant for. So we'll probably do that as the grand finale. Uh, I do want to run into the explosive wall real quick. I'm a bit bummed out by the other wall though. It just will not stay up long enough for me to get over there to it. All right, here we go. Explosive wall. Yes, come on. Shift it. And it'll pick up some speed here in second gear. Oh, buddy. Here we go. Oh, the hood popped up. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh! Oh, that was cool. Okay, well, we didn't actually get to see the uh, destruction physics there. It just uh, exploded. <laughs> it broke apart really good. It bums me out about that wall, though, but if you need uh, any sort of destructive walls like this, I highly suggest using this. I just didn't really know what to use these for besides a random Bob episode. Like, I don't even think I'd have a, a Burnout Bob episode with these because it's really, uh, like, the explosive wall is just going to stop you instantly. But I guess we better go ahead and tumble this car down the canyon like it has on the picture, and then we'll wrap this episode up. All right, we're ready to Thelma and Louise off the side of this canyon. Let's get some speed here, and we're going to see what kind of destruction physics this uh, vehicle has. Somebody really needs to get some hood pins or something. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a little... Oh, I don't want to hit that. Okay, almost there, almost there. And here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, we might have launched too far. I think we're supposed to roll down the canyon. Oh, this is going to hurt. Uh, oh! All right, there we go. It's going to start rolling. Now, let's go ahead and slow this down. That way you can kind of pick apart and watch the items move. You can see how there's a... Uh, Oh yeah, there's a lot of items on like little joints. Like you can see, even see the bottom there. There's one. So if that were to get damaged, it would actually separate and continue to bend. Dude, that looks so awesome. Oh, the dash is flying off. Yeah, this reminds me of a creation a long time ago, which I don't know if it was by the same dude. I need to check that out. There was a Beam and G car, which basically does the same thing, but this is epic looking. And continues to roll. Uh, oh, hey, hey, it, uh, you know, Bob, yeah, no, yeah, Bob's definitely dead. Uh, let's roll that down one more time. Let's see if we can get a, a little bit better roll going with the momentum. Oh, let's go off this side real quick. This side will work. There we go. Let's go here. All right. And here we go. Up, 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 up. Uh-oh, we're going to hit the road. Oh, we're going to miss it. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. All right, let's go free camp. Oh, really? It stopped on this road. That's disappointing. Ah, and we got to continue the roll. That's not how we go down here. But anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Random Bob. I probably called him Random Rob because uh, I do that a lot for some reason now. 
But uh, yeah, we checked out some really awesome random creations. And ooh, that was glorious looking. There it goes. Now it's rolling. There we go. That's why it's called the Rock Roller. Ooh, the whole roof just came off. Oh, that's so sweet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to support the workshop creators down in the description. Uh, we will have, like I said, Normal Bob, some multiplayer coming up. If you guys have any suggestions for future Brick Rigs episodes, uh, stuff you'd like to see more of, let me know down in those comments. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.